Hi there, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. This is the July energy update. The J July update has to do with spinning. And I just want to remind everyone at the very end, I will be doing an activation. If you want to stick around for that. So spinning, the energy for July, the frequency. What that means is, is as I was looking at the energy, watching the frequency of July, it's coming out of that June energy, and then it comes into this spin frequency, and several different things can happen when, we, when we're feeling a spin, okay? So remember, um, June was like forcing, making things come to the surface, but what happens too is, as things come to the surface, if we're not allowing these energies to move, then the energy does start to spin. And when it spins, it's actually not really going anywhere, at least not very much. Just think of something just like spinning, spinning, like a top spinning. Okay, it just keeps spinning, spinning, spinning. So what can also happen with that is the um, like whatever's presented in your world. Let's just say that um, you're all of a sudden waking up to or realizing or feeling that you, you don't feel safe in the world, okay, for whatever reasons, okay, so now you're becoming aware, I don't feel safe, I don't feel like I belong in the world, and that energy has been pulled up from the subconscious, <clears throat> and now it's in your awareness, okay, that's because now you're feeling, oh, I feel like I don't feel safe, or I feel like, oh, I don't belong, okay, so that energy is now just kind of spinning in your awareness, it's not going to go anywhere, <laughs> meaning if you don't, you know, let yourself surrender to it and literally just, you know, know this energy because that's what it's really about. Everything's about knowing thyself in all these different experiences, knowing the emotion, knowing the wounding. So I'm just going to keep using, you know, that feeling like you don't feel safe, you don't belong, okay, not wanted. So you'll sit in that indefinitely but again in order to shift that energy you're going to really have to embrace it what i mean by that is if you're feeling unsafe <clears throat> then rather than trying not to feel and that's what we do we have a tendency i don't like this feeling i don't want to feel this i just want to push it away or rise above it make it go away <clears throat> maybe it'll just disappear maybe it'll go away by itself or whatever okay um in order to shift the energy to let it truly be shifted, that means now you're going to have to be with it. That means that feeling, the feeling like I feel unsafe, okay? So you're going to let yourself just let that feeling be there. There's emotion in that. You want to let yourself have the emotion of that, even that feeling like I don't belong, I'm not wanted, okay? And whatever your issue is, it'll be yours. I'm just giving an example. And that feeling like, oh, not belonging. Okay, there's an emotion in that. There's an emotion feeling like you're not wanted. Okay, so what's really being asked now is to really let allow the self, allow yourself to just really drop in and be with these feelings, be with them, okay? Sometimes if you can go through them, like, like really embracing the emotion of it, based, what I mean by that is, when you're in an emotional state, you know, you kind of drop all your mind thoughts, you drop the story. All you're doing is feeling the emotion, the actual emotion. You become that emotion. Now, for some people, they, they're not able to do that. You've trained your body not to go into feelings, not to go into deep states of emotion. So <clears throat> the other way to help move the energy is to sit in it. What I mean by that is... <laughs> Not fun, but, and it takes way longer than if you go in and just let yourself cry it out or, you know, like really, really just die to that energy, die to the feeling. So what you're doing is you're being, being with that energy, being with that emotion and that feeling. I'm going to use the same ones, not feeling safe, not belonging, not wanted. And there's an intensity that we can feel in the body. Usually we'll feel it maybe like second chakra area. Some people feel it down in the lower belly area. Some people might feel it in the heart area. doesn't matter where you're feeling it. The key is you just want to let yourself just be with it. Just be with that feeling. Be with that emotion. 
and stay there. Okay? Stay there. And you're not making judgments. You're not trying to understand it. You're not trying to do anything. All you're doing is being with a sensation and emotion that's coming up into your awareness. So the spin, like I'm saying earlier, energies were being pulled up. They were being forced to the surface last month. And now, now there's an awareness, you know, you have more awareness. And again, though, that you're, you're still not embracing. So the spin will affect everyone. It will affect whatever has been brought up. So everyone will have something different. Some may, people may have that feeling unsafe or, you know, not belonging, not feeling wanted. But there's lots and lots and lots of other emotions that people feel that you will literally be spinning in. And the thing is, is it isn't just the spinning, it's the awareness. So now you're having the awareness of what's spinning in your subconscious. Now you, maybe in the past, you weren't really getting it. You didn't really feel and sense that, whoa, you know, I didn't realize I didn't feel safe. Okay. I didn't realize that I felt, you know, like I'm, I don't belong. I didn't have that awareness. Now the spin holds a frequency of lightness to it. There's a light energy to it. Like it has a, a brighter color to it. So it's no longer hidden. So whatever your spin is, you're going to have an awareness of what that is. You know, it's going to be like, oh, wow, I'm feeling angst about this, or I'm feeling judged, or I'm feeling upset about something I'm feeling, you know, but it's, it's, it's actually energies that have been pulled up from the subconscious that are now spinning in your consciousness. That's the color. Like I was saying, I can see a different color in July. So the color has more of a of lightness to it. It has like a some yellow and a little bit of an orange, but mostly kind of a yellow orange energy. And it literally is doing this. It's spinning. Okay. And it's showing me that, oh, it isn't, it's not buried, you know, like hidden in the subconscious where you can't find it. Now it's here. It's right here. So this is what's really cool is the fact that it's here. See, the thing with our subconscious is we can feel angst. We can feel, you know, our reactions and we can feel our, our emotions, but we can still feel there's still something. We don't know what it is. It's kind of like buried. Can't find it. And that's the subconscious. And you can't find it with your conscious mind. It, it requires you doing something in order to access the subconscious, which one of the ways to do that is through feeling completely surrendering to an emotion. Again, that will take you down into the subconscious. Then you'll start to feel the emotions that are buried there. What's happening in, in this month this, for July is the buried stuff is now coming to awareness. Okay? That's the good thing. That's really awesome. So these subconscious feelings that were anchored so deeply in are now coming up and now you can feel them you can sense them you 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 know what they are you're having a you know feelings of behaviors you're acting out you're, you're having thoughts you're having reactions but you're also aware of what it is um just as an example uh for my own self i i had um when i first came to georgia my first year here um there was a lot of alone time but i had a lot of time to just be with myself but there was still like I could feel things and, and have an awareness and nothing was really activating me. So I wasn't going to go into any kind of emotion because there was no activation. But I can still feel something, something, something. Something's a deep. And I can't, I don't know what it is. I can't find it. Okay. So through different things that I did, I actually brought these feelings up to awareness. But my point is, is didn't matter how much I wanted to know what it was, didn't how much time I spent trying to figure it out using the mind, and even even a little bit of surrender, it was still too buried, and I hadn't, it hadn't been activated, okay? And it was through direct experiences with other people that things finally got triggered or activated, and once they did, then I was able to just surrender to those energies, to those emotions, and, and drop in, and that's also when I really, really discovered the very one of the issues I had for real was not belonging, not being wanted, 
they're going to kill me because that because in my life uh, my mom was trying to abort and she took stuff and then also trying to abort so the, the in that early stage especially those first two weeks of in conception you know you're just everything is just amplified so the fact that she was trying to get rid of me i i anchored that in and had a belief oh i'm not wanted i'm not loved they're going to kill me okay so that's the kind of stuff that was coming up here in georgia I mean, it's not that I hadn't done other work, but there was a deeper level of a deeper subconscious that I hadn't cleared out yet. And that energy getting activated, then I was able to go after it, feel it, okay? So it's the same that's happening for everyone. We've got these really deeply buried emotions from traumas, past lives, this lifetime, that's really buried. We can't find it, can't feel it. But then it, uh, as things start to, like for like June, the forcing, and then July, it's now in our awareness. Like, for example, let's just say that I hadn't done those pieces of work earlier. What would be happening now is the very thing I've been looking for, you know, like, what's this? What's this angst in my belly? What is this? Then it would be cut, it would been been forced up in June into my awareness. Oh, this feeling. Oh, I don't belong. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm not wanted here. They're going to kill me. Okay. I would have had that awareness. And now with July, now it's those energies are really in my, like I'm awake to it. Like I, I can identify what these emotions are. I can identify, oh, I really feel like I don't belong. I really feel, oh, I can feel that feeling. They're, they're going to kill me. I would be killed. Okay. I'm not wanted. I would be feeling those. Okay, this is what I'm saying for July. It's aware. Okay, you were pushing stuff up. June, bring it, forcing it up. July, now we know what it is. Okay, so clearly, once we understand and know what something is, then we have the opportunity to heal and clear it. Okay, so what this means for you is just start looking at your your yourself, looking at your own emotions, pay attention. To what are you feeling? Okay, what what kind of emotions are you feeling? What kinds of thoughts are you having? And see if you can get a sense of does this feel like something you've grown up with, or is this like a feeling or an emotion that's familiar, but you didn't never really got what it was, you weren't ever able really to clear it and heal it. Okay. So in your world now, what you're going to be doing is paying attention. It's like you, know, you might be doing something, you might be hanging out with somebody, maybe someone will say something, and all of a sudden you'll just have an awareness of, oh, wow, that's one of my feelings. That's one of the things that I actually feel that I didn't know what that was. Now I have an, now I can identify it. Okay. This is the thing. See, the July energy is alive, it's bright, it's like conscious. Okay, that yellow frequency. The yellow energy of that is conscious. It's aware. It's no longer hidden, dark, deep. It's now in awareness. Okay. So you can actually utilize this, this energy and intentionally be looking for, you know, what, what, what is this? So when you're starting to have reactions, like I said, you're hanging around people or you're just being in life, going to work, driving, being at home, you're going to start having reactions in a way that, they're not going to be reactions like, like intense, like wanting to blame somebody. Okay. This is more like reactions that are showing you yourself. They're showing you, oh, wow, I'm feeling frustrated. Hmm. Oh, wow. I'm feeling angry. Oh, wow. I'm feeling really sad. Hmm. And in those emotions, you know, I'm feeling butthurt or whatever. I'm taking things personal. You're going to have that awareness of what you're doing. Okay. And then once you have these awarenesses, like let's just say, okay, well, whoa, I can, I'm aware I'm taking things personally. Wow. I didn't have that awareness before, but clearly I've been taking things personally, but now I have an awareness of it. Okay. Oh, I have an awareness that, well, I'm feeling really frustrated. Oh, I have felt frustrated many times, but now it's in my awareness. It's in my face. This is what July is doing. It's bringing it to your face, aware, okay? No more hidden. So whatever you're experiencing, whatever your life is bringing to you, you're gonna have more awareness. And, and then what happens is 
let's just say, okay, I'm feeling really frustrated, you know, just frustrated, frustrated. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Hmm. If I just let myself be with this feeling of frustration, oh, there's going to be something underneath that. And that's what you want to do. So whatever's presenting for you might be feeling of, oh, I just realized I take things personally. Hmm. So if I'm taking things personally, that means I'm, you know, that there's something happening for me that I'm not feeling that I keep, you know, making it about and you know, taking it personally. So I'm actually not clearing something because I keep taking things personally. So what we do now is like, oh, I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking this personal. Like someone does says something, whatever. And it's not about us at all, but we're taking it personal. All right, that's it. What does this feel like? How is this making me feel? I did take that personal. Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Ooh, makes me feel sad. Okay, so now I have an awareness. Oh, then I have a sadness around whatever the issue was that I'm taking personally. Remember, if we're having a reaction, we've got a wounding. That's it. So again, we come in, we feel that that sadness. I, but also, it isn't just feeling that top layer. You need to stay with that sadness. Stay with it. And just keep opening because, again, because of the light frequency of July, it's going to bring other things to awareness much easier than in the past, even two months ago, five months ago, a year ago. This month is truly about bringing things so that you're feeling them. There's a spin, that spin of the energy. It's staying there so it's not going to just go away. You got all month or even longer, to keep going after whatever comes into your awareness. Because the spin, it's spinning all kinds of different emotions, all kinds of different woundings, all kinds of different angst are coming up. They're spinning in that energy frequency that you actually are aware of. Okay, It's up to you now to question and begin to ask, ooh, what is this? What is this feeling? Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel this. Uh -huh. What is it? And and again, either stay with it and sit with it and just be with it. Sometimes that can actually take several days, but it's also a way to do it. You know, if you stay with something and just stay with it, just keep your heart open, not make anything good, bad, right or wrong, no judging, no fault finding, but stay with an energy, stay with this feeling, stay with this emotion. Pretty soon, more more understanding will happen. Other energies and our emotions will present. But ultimately, because you're staying with it, you're knowing it, then eventually it starts to dissipate because you are being with it without trying to stop it or change it or make it go away. You're knowing it. Okay? But if you want to do it more quickly and sometimes even more deeply, you go into the emotion of these, these energies and know them in that way. Okay? So you let yourself just... Come in, whatever that emotion is, you have it, but you have it all the way. Don't lose in the mind, no mind thoughts, completely surrendering to whatever that is, okay, whatever that emotion is. So July is an awesome month. I think it's really a great month. I just love the concept of what it's doing. It's just bringing your stuff right to the surface, okay? So you can't deny it, uh, avoid it. Rise above it. It's there. You're aware. That's what's cool. So we do have some cool clearings coming up that actually support you in this July spinning. So um, claim, we have a claiming sovereignty over your body, which is profoundly important. That's on July 12th. That's with me. We also have an accelerator, Sarah, and she's doing a, a, a immersive aura cleanse on July 17th. Okay, that's with um, Sarah. Okay, then I have another one, Feeling mis Misunderstood, on July 26th. Okay, so all of these are just helping you, uh, supporting you in your journey, in your soul's evolution, in your healing. Okay, now I just want to do like an activation, quick activation to literally help even more of the energy of spinning to make it move even quicker to bring even more to awareness faster because we are in the acceleration, okay? So I'm just going to be tuning right in to the heart chakra. I want the heart chakra. I want the power center. 
Yeah, I want first and second chakras as well. So I'm just going to be doing some activation to really help get these thin energies moving, get them bring them to the surface. I'm actually going to start at the lower chakra first. First chakra, life, death, survival, blasting that with the white flame, activating it, activating it, activating. There we go. Second chakra. There we go. Spinning, spinning. There we go. White flame, white flame, activating, activating, blowing it up, blow it up, blow it up. Blow it up. There we go. Good. Third, okay, power center, third chakra. Activating this one big time. White flame, white flame, white flame. Blow, blasting, blasting. Blow up, blow it up, blow it up. Set. There we go. There we go. Activating heart chakra right there. Mm -hmm. Activating white flame, white flame, white flame. Right there, brighter, brighter. Explode, explode, explode. Getting all this debris out. There we go. Activating. Good. Now, all these energies are going to be helping assist you in that spinning energy of July. Let's get this stuff up and out. Heal. Move on to the next piece. All righty then.